400 million. That's the number of registered players Fortnite have. 5% of the world's population. And in today's video, I'm going to be counting down the 10 best current players. This video is not going to include retired players like Mongrel, Mitro, or Sei, but players are currently competing. If you guys enjoy videos like these, consider using code MARINTM in the item shop. Now, let's get into it. Coming in at the 10th spot, we have arguably the best fighter in the game, Peterbot. Now, a lot of you watching would probably have a Peterbot way higher, but with a pretty slow start to 2023, being ranked 26th in NA East, I simply can't put him above the nine others I have chosen for this list. What makes Peterbot the 10th best player in the world is his unbelievable confidence to win any situation, no matter the difficulty. Peterbot also has some of the fastest and most consistent mechanics out of any players. And pair that with AIM that has gotten him thousands of soft AIM accusations and you have one hell of a player. Taking up ninth, we have Yamso. And what you guys have to understand is that in the making of this video, all I look at is tournament placements. It doesn't matter how good someone looks when watching them on Twitch or YouTube. At the end of the day, the players who performs consistently and incredibly well will be in this video. In 2022, Yamso was second place on the PR leaderboards. And this year, he is third, being one of the most consistent players in the second hardest region for over one year. What makes the Yamso so incredibly good is the fact that he very rarely messes up. His aim is some of the best in the game and his mechanics are precise and effective, although he might not look like the fastest player. Talking about the fastest players, in 8th we have Acorn, who is one of the fastest thinkers in the entire game. Acorn is arguably the best IGL in the world, and recently having won the Chapter 4 Season 1 Duo FNCS, this guy is an absolute no-brainer to have on a video of the best players in the world. Not only has he had an insane start to 2023, he was also the number one player on the NA East PR leaderboards, in 2022. What makes Acorn one of the best is his awareness and knowledge of the game. Acorn arguably has the best awareness out of any player, and his knowledge in lobbies with the best players in the world gets him those consistent grand finals placements. Now, taking him seventh, we have a guy who is super unique in the way he plays. Playing with this guy for any tier one player would be an absolute blessing. And that is because I personally think he is a by far the best teammate in the world. And the person I am talking about is of course none other than Mustache. Having won the recent EU Duo Grand Finals, Mustache has cemented himself as one of the best to ever do it. Mustache has knowledge over how to play on his duo like no one I've ever seen. If you watch Mustache's video on how him and Tayson won FNCS, you'll see that it does so much for the team. And wherever Tayson goes, Mustache goes as well. Mustache knows exactly when to go for that risky but necessary play, and he hits harder than most other competitors. Because of one of the most insane last game clutches I've ever seen and the ability to stay calm under immense amounts of pressure, sixth place in this video goes to Tayson. Tayson is one of the very few who plays ridiculously much better when the pressure is on. Tayson is a true competitor and he is, in my opinion, the best player of all time. However, there are five others who simply has just been more consistent over the last year. The traits that make Tayson one of the absolute best is his ability to lead whoever he plays with in one of the smartest ways in the world. He has the best communication out of any player and is consistent in everything he does. Tayson will for sure go down in history as one of the absolute best to ever do it. Coming to the halfway point of today's video, we have smashing that like button. No, but in all seriousness, taking on fifth, we have Queasy. Queasy is someone who has better knowledge than anyone else when it comes to winning games. Queasy has been, and will forever be, the king of high grounds. Queasy is someone who has been playing the game and working impressively hard to get to where he is today. And honestly, anyone in this top five could be in first. But this is my list, and the four others just has that little extra that no one else in the world even comes close to having. Talking about players having that little extra, taking on fourth, we have Thomas HD. This guy is not only one of the most clutch players of all time, but he is also undeniably the best aimer to have ever touched the game. There will never be another Thomas HD. Unfortunately, Thomas has never won an FNCS. This FNCS was the closest he's ever been, missing out on winning by nothing more than two points. 
My third place pick, in contrast to Thomas HD, knows what it's like to win an FNCS. Because he just recently won the Chapter 4 Season 1 FNCS on NA East. I'm of course talking about Cold. It is very difficult for me to describe Cold because he is good at seemingly everything. One could argue that Cold is the best fragger ever. Cold doesn't miss a shot, his mechanics are incredible, he listens better than anyone, and his knowledge is immense. Cold could honestly be first place in this video. But him being on NA East makes things a little more difficult. Cold obviously proved himself at the FNCS Invitational, being the tournament MVP by a long shot, and the same can be said for last season's FNCS. When Cold needs to step up and collect some points, win a 2v1 or anything else, you can count on him to do it. Moving on to second place, I have Malibuka as my pick. And putting Malibuka in second is a very difficult thing to do. Because Malibuka often does things that only Malibuka can do. Malibuka is someone who has taken a world by storm. And what makes him a star player is not only the fact that he grinds like few others, but he is also remarkably structured when it comes to both solos and duos. If you look at his 5 solo wins in the Solo Victory Cash Cup, you'll notice that he has the best trigger discipline, his mats switching is the best in the world, he minimizes risks better than anyone, and overall, he is just unbelievable. However, I still think there is one player who is just a tiny bit better, and still is deserving of the title, best player in the world. And to no surprise to anyone who follows competitive, the best player in the world is Veno. Veno could play with anyone and still do incredibly well. That is the impact he has as a team player. His ability to eliminate someone in 3 seconds in a grand final is unlike most other professionals. His awareness is a top tier, he is the player with the best knowledge of when he needs to take a big risk and not, especially when he is on height, where he, in resemblance to his duo Queasy, shines. Venno is also able to clutch games of the highest caliber, often to a top 2 or even a win. And I just think that Venno has a skill set in this game unlike anyone else in the world. Now, I know a lot of you guys were probably expecting Booga, Clicks, Bucky, or those kinds of players. And although those three are phenomenal, these 10 in this list are statistically speaking on another level. I still hope you found this video enjoyable and that you understand where I'm coming from with these picks. Thank you all so very much for sticking around to the end. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you all very, very soon.